Hey everybody, this is Bourbon Battles and I'm Joe and today's mail call. So what do we do on mail call? We take a blind sample out of this box over here and we tell you what we think about it. These are all samples that were sent to us by either you, the viewer, or distillery. So stick with us. So let's get into a few things here as we start to talk about this. Let's get the box out here and start to get one poured up. If you're asking why we do it like this, why do we do it blind, right? I mean, this is what they look like, right? I just pick one. All I know is there's a number on it. And then I go in here and find the corresponding envelope, which is the answer key. Why do we do that? Well, we drink it blind because we don't give a rat's ass what's on the label. We just like good whiskey. And I highly encourage you to do this kind of stuff at home, right? Uh, this against that, have somebody pour them for you, see what you think, see what you find out. You might be really surprised what you find. If you go back through some of our episodes, we've got some really interesting blind battles you're going to want to check out. Okay, this one was sent to us. Do you see who sent to us right up here? Thank you very much for that. Well, it's got a good nose. Sweet. You know, if you're looking for a bunch of tasting notes, you're at the wrong place. We don't do a lot of tasting notes because we think they're kind of stupid. But if you want to be featured on an episode of Mail Call, send me an email at bourbonbattlesblind at gmail.com and I'll give you all the information you need to know on how to do that. Maybe finished. I do like it. I do like it. We don't really talk about price on here either. Um, very unique. It's got a lot of sweetness to it. Really decent finish for what it is. It doesn't drink really hot. Good spice. I, I think the reason that I like it so much is because it is sweet. I like those sweeter profile whiskeys. This was just sent to us. This is from Cedar Ridge. This is not finished. This is their barrel proof small batch, which is very interesting because it did not drink that hot. Cedar Ridge is in Iowa. It's Iowa. Iowa? Distilling everything in Iowa with Iowa corn. This is 116 proof. Um, guys, I've said it over and over and over again. Uh, look out. As these people start to get aged, these micro distilleries in other states, there's a lot of good whiskey that's coming to us from places other than Kentucky. And Cedar Ridge, let me grab the bottle right here and I'll show it to you. See, these guys are doing it right. This is what it looks like. I know that I saw this online. You can buy it and have it delivered to you. I don't know the price point on this, but I do not think it's 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 out of whack at all from what I remember. Um, they're just doing it right out there at Cedar Ridge. This stuff gets some more age to it. It's going to be really, really tasty. We've got this one, and I've got a port cask finish that is in that box somewhere. So looking forward to finding that. I've tried both of these. I've spent quite a bit of time with this one. Um there is a unique flavor to it that I don't get in a lot of things, which is one of the reasons why I think I like it so well. Um, thank you very much, Cedar Ridge, for sending these out to us. We look forward to trying your port cask finish as it pops up. Hopefully that'll be soon. Um, and yeah, Iowa whiskey. Who'd have thunk it? Hey, drinking bourbon's supposed to be fun. Do it with your friends. Do it responsibly. Do it blind if you can. If you don't know what that means, watch some of our old episodes. Check out our uh, web page at bourbonbattlesblind.com where you can find links to Patreon and all of our social media. Hey, until next time, whatever you do, don't drink and drive. If you drink, don't drive to the watermelon crop.